Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We spend a lot of time and energy breeding our male snakes to our female snakes. But did you know that in the wild, there's actually some snakes that are born without a male snake at all? We're gonna spend some time investigating it. You're watching Snake Bites. Breeding snakes can be a ton of work, especially on our level, and particularly with boas and pythons. You gotta make sure you're switching your males into females' cages, keeping track of females' follicular growth with ultrasounding, not to mention tons of record keeping, and you gotta make sure the proper male is in with the proper female at the proper time. There's actually a phenomenon in nature, although it's extremely rare, it would make my life a ton easier, called parthenogenesis. It's actually when a female can produce without a male male present. Let's go talk to a doctor and get to the bottom of it. Good evening, Dr. Chewy fans. I've been on a little hiatus, you must say, um, studying the reptile and fibbing community, but I'm back. And today we're going to study pathogenetics. I'll say that again, pathogenetics. No, I meant parthenogenesis. I was trying to trick you, but let's go on with our study. Parthenogenesis is a form of asexual reproduction found in females where growth and development of the embryos occur without fertilization from the male. All this sexual talk is making me hot. The offspring produced by parthenogenesis are always female. In the species that use the XY sexual determination as all reptiles do. Although there has been Although there has been a few exceptions where the CW chromosomes occur. This term is sometimes used inaccurately to describe the reproduction modes of the hermaphroditical, to describe hermaphroditical moves. <laughs> what? To describe reproduction modes of hermaphroditic species which can reproduce themselves because they contain reproduction organs for both sexes. The offsprings can be virtual clones of the mothers. Oh, CY chromosomes, A chrome, oh, oh, um, um, that has been, um, sexual reproduction talk with Dr. Chewy. Thank you, have a good night. Parthenogenesis has been studied extensively in the New Mexican whiptail lizards, where 15 species reproduce exclusively by parthenogenesis. What's interesting about the New Mexican whiptail lizard is that some of them actually exhibit breeding behavior, even though they reproduce asexually. What's equally as interesting to me is that those animals that do exhibit that behavior actually tend to have more eggs, probably because the increased hormones due to the mating process. Now we have live bearing snakes here that can reproduce parthenogenesis, but we've never seen anything like that, although it would make my job a lot easier. Guys, I don't know how many times I've had to talk to you about this. You know what? You guys got to work harder. The economy sucks. It's hard to pay the bills. You got to get stuff done in a quicker time. Kel is the only guy here that I can count on. I'm serious, guys. I'm going to start firing people. I mean it. Get back to work. He means it. Dude. The f You're making us all look bad. Sorry, dude. It's, it's not my fault. You're a bunch of losers. What do you want me to do about it? Tell us the f secret. All right, listen. I've created part in the genesis chamber in the bathroom. Ever heard of it? Didn't think so. Stick with me here, okay? What it allows me to do is clone myself so I can get twice as much work done. Get it? Oh, that sounds cool. No, 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 not for you. You don't need twice as many people standing around, okay? Yeah, that is true. You can go. Yeah, what you do is you go into the bathroom, okay? You flick the lights on and off three times, you spin around three times, and you hit yourself in the nuts. Okay, you don't have to hit yourself in the nuts, but it toughens you up a little bit, okay? Then, you'll get yourself a clone. Give it a try, or don't. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going. Me too. I'm going to take a leak. What the hell? Hi. Um, I need you to uh, help me with my work. Okay. All right, let's go do that then.
Kel, Kel, Kel. What's up, dude? I made a clone. He's super cool. Fun to be around. Awesome. Great dancer. And he let me be a big spoon. Aww. But, well, I can't keep him around. Why not? Because he eats as much as I do. He farts all the time. Can't afford all right, no all more. Right, all right, that's enough, okay? This is how you get rid of him. Take your clone back in the chamber, okay? And flick the lights on and off twice. Not three times, twice, okay? Then you're gonna punch him in the nuts as hard as you possibly can because he's wearing really baggy shorts like you, okay? Simple as that, poof, he's gone. Are you joking? That's it? George, science is no joke. Good luck. This is where we first met, George. Yeah, um, about that. You're fun to have around. We have tons of fun together. We do fun things. But, yes? Ah, f*** it. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> Looks like I'm running things now. <laughs> On this week's Comment of the Week on the Snake Soap Opera episode, the question was, what are some of your pet peeves? And Evil Raspberry said, People who say honey, sweetie, boo-boo, etc. when getting an attitude piss me off. Curse, scream, be an unholy b**** I'll only be mildly perturbed. Try and cop some condescending attitude that only lacks the finger snaps and absurdly cocked hip, and I'll want to chew your face off. Well, that certainly was a good one. And I got to tell you, you guys had some awesome comments this week. It was really hard for me to choose. Keep those comments coming. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, Cal's question of the week. Now, obviously, the show is about cloning. I want to know from you guys what you would do if you had a clone. Personally, I really wouldn't want a clone because I was end up killing myself or each other, or however that works. Anyway, let me know. Text or video comment below. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It doesn't look like Parthenogenesis is going to make my job any easier anytime soon. We're still going to have to breed our snakes, but it's still a really interesting phenomenon. Speaking of that, if you guys have something that's really cool that you guys want us to investigate, make sure to let us know. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.